Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and right now we're going to have a quick look at how to do trig functions on the Casio FX260 Solder 2 calculator. To do this we'll be using the sine, cosine, and tangent keys that look like this and are located here as well as the shift key that looks like this in the top left corner here and the right bracket with the shift function of the X inverse that looks like this and it's located here. All of these examples will be using degrees, so the first thing we want to do is make sure our calculator is set to degrees mode. You can see mine says RAD at the top there, meaning it's set to RADS. If we want to shift our calculator into degrees, what we do is we press mode and then 4, and you can see a DEG has appeared on the top of our screen now. If you look at the back of your calculator, you can see an outline of the modes. So mode 4 changes your calculator to degrees, mode 5 to radians, and mode 6 to gradients. Alright, so now that we're set to degrees, we can go ahead and get started. The basics, if we just want to sine, cos, or tan a number, are easy enough. Example, if we wanted to find the sine of 30 degrees, we temp in 30, and then just press the sine key. And we get a sine of 30 is equal to 0 0.5. Same with the cosine. So 30 cos gives us 0 0.8660. And tan of 30, again, 30, press tan, and we get 0 0.5773, etc. All right, those are easy, but what if we want to find the cosecant, secant, or cotangent of a number? Well, to do this, we first find the corresponding value. So say if we wanted to find the cosecant of 30 degrees, we first find sine of 30, 30 sine, and then we inverse this number. So we press shift, right bracket with the X inverse key there. It looks like this, that's this one and we get a result. So we see the cosecant of 30 degrees is equal to 2. For secant, we use cos. So for secant of 30 degrees, again, we type 30, and then cos. There's our cosine result, and then we press shift, inverse, and we get a secant of 1.547. And cotangent, we use tan, so for cotangent of 30, we press 30, tan, there's our tan 30, and then we inverse that with shift, inverse, and again, get 1.7321, etc. We can also do arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan on this calculator by using the shift function of sine, cos, and tan. That's that sine minus one, cos minus one, and tan minus one above the keys. And what this does is allows us to go from the result that we got, so for sine of 30, it allows us to take the 0 0.5 and go back to figure out how many degrees we use to get that. So if we wanted to do this right here, uh, let's say arc sine of 0 0.5, so you enter 0.5, and then the shift sign, and this brings us back to 30. So we know sine of 30 degrees, 0 0.5, arc sine of 0 0.5, 30 degrees. For arc cos of 0 0.8660, enter the, eight, or the 0 0.8660, shift cos, and this brings us back to what would roughly round to 30 degrees. And for arctan, again, enter the 0.5774, shift tan, and again, we have what would round to 30 degrees. All right, I hope this helps everybody, and uh, good luck on those tests out there.